Mark, good to see you. See you again. Hey, Mark, good to hey. see you. Oh. Hello. <laughs> Hi, and did I give you a cuddle as well? I've had an outfit left out. Hey, really nice to see you. And so, how does it feel to be up close and personal with a master of his profession? I can't profession? believe it. He's such a famous star in our household because we watch food TV all day. <laughs> <laughs> in the show, yes. Uh, yeah, in yeah. the show. Okay, <laughs> now you get to do bad cooking. Keep away from the knife anyway. That looks like a dangerous implement. Um, well, I'm going to leave you guys to it, okay? Check back in a bit later. Cool. Thanks. Okay, so are you happy with the help we've got for you today? Yeah, very happy. Very keen cook at home, okay. so uh, I think we're in good hands. <laughs> What do we need to make the best grilled cheese sandwich ever? What is the secret, Mark? Right, so we've got, um, well, we're going to make the ultimate cheese sandwich today. So we're basically taking the French croque monsieur mm -hmm. and we're taking the, uh, the English or the British um, Welsh rabbit, the Welsh rabbit, and we're going to add them together and make a croque bit. Yeah. So this is like brand new, first, you first saw it here. <laughs> <laughs> so basically we've got some nice crusty bread, We've got some mustard on there, some cured ham, some Ooh. cheese, and we're going to put some more cheese in it a, a rare bit. Now we're with Mark in the Master Craft Kitchen. Now Mark, it's International Cheese Toasty Day today, so you're making the ultimate one. What are you calling it again? It's a crock bit. A crock bit. What so basically, what? it's an amalgamation between two toasted sandwiches. Okay, so what do we need to do? So basically, we've got all the ingredients on the screen for you guys at home, so you can have a look there. Cheese, ham. Uh, we've got Gruyere cheese here from the French influence and we've got some aged cheddar from uh, over in the uh, UK. Right. So first of all what we've got to do, we've got to make sort of, it's like a bechamel sauce but instead of milk we're going to use a dark stout beer. So I've used Guinness here. Oh, this, this so is always looking good. good already. What's the reason for that? <laughs> Just gives it extra flavour, makes it dark. Okay. It's going to be beautiful later. So basically you've got a little bit of flour. Some mustard powder. Should I just hold it? What should I do with this? You can pour it in in two seconds. Oh, Don't much. drink any. Oh, no. This is looking good easy. For, good for breastfeeding mothers, apparently. Right, so we're just gonna we're just gonna mix this, just get it together, and then slowly okay. we're gonna add this How and it'll slowly? start thickening. Steady stream, but we just okay. want about half. You tell yep. me when to stop. Yep, yeah, that's okay. Oh, that's smelling oh, good. Look at that. So there you go. So the, the whole key on this sauce is you've got to keep stirring so you can add a little bit more. Okay. Just because it's getting quite thick. Just a splash. Just a splash? That yep. sort of splash? Wow. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> that's a bit splash. splash. <laughs> Do you like this? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so basically, just slow and steady. Keep stirring and you won't get any lumps in there. Right. That's what I'll do. Okay, you don't want any lumps. You make that look really easy though. And I know that my bechamel sauces tend to be a bit lumpy. Just got to whisk it harder, get the lumps out. Okay. So we can probably even add a splash more. See. So it's always best to just keep adding it rather than throw it all in at the beginning. Right, a little splash? Yeah. There you go. Oh, I could be a bit more generous. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get away from you, can I, Mark? You're so fussy. Yeah, <laughs> perfect. There we go. Perfect. And because we've got flour in here as well, we need to cook it out. So basically, you're just going to keep cooking it on a low heat and it will thicken, but you want to taste it before you take it off the heat. What does cooking the flour out mean? I mean, I don't... Well, if you taste it now, you'll get that sort of flour and taste. Oops, okay. I'll taste it, I'll taste you it. You taste it. Oh, hot, though. In the hot pan, that's awesome. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> be careful, it's hot. So you can, you can get that sort yeah, of floury right. taste yeah, on, the back, on the back palate. Taste that. So we just want to cook it out for sort of two, three minutes and you'll just lose that flavour. And then stirring. we don't want to Yeah, exactly, you're listening. <laughs> <laughs> so last minute, we're just going to grate some aged cheddar in there. Okay, don't want me to stir. You, you stir. You're great. Okay. You're great. Cool. I'll wash. I'm a good stirrer. Right, so we'll just let it cook out and then we'll, uh, we'll put the cheese in there. Right, so we'll get all bread ready. So pretty much you can use any bread you want. So we've just got a nice crusty uh, farm loaf here. Oh, that Let's do some good. nice oh, okay. slices. Nice technique on the cutting too, turning your fingers under, I remember that. Yeah, that's it, tuck your fingers away, you don't want to cut into your fingers, especially not on TV. Right, and then we're going to build this sandwich here. Oh my god. Can yeah, I do so anything? That's, can I do anything for that's, you? Yeah, you can butter the bread if you want. Good. Right. Thickening up. So first of all, just butter some bread, so nice soft butter, uh, just on both sides. Lots of it? Oh, not too much, there's oh. quite a lot of fat in this recipe already. Okay, great. You can go easy on the butter. It's, treat food, it's all about it? cheese anyway. Yeah. Right, so this is looking pretty good, so grate some cheese into that. Okay. Right. Well, you are really making me work here, aren't <laughs> so you? So I'm just doing the one side, aren't I? Yep, just the one side. Oops. Oops. And then we're just going to lay some Ooh, ham on it. top. Okay. Right. And then some cheese. Okay, so you can be quite generous because it is a cheese toasty. Mm. And then just a little bit of uh, richness to cut through all that cheese, just some English mustard. So spread some on there and then we'll pop it How over. How much do we need? Oh, just a nice, yeah, that's yeah. perfect, yeah. So nice and even. Mm, okay, you don't want to bite into it and have a huge amount of hot in your mouth, do you? No, no, that's cool. That's and that. then pop it on top. 
So this is a recipe anyone can do, isn't it? Yeah, pretty much. It's, it's really that. easy. Exactly, we're, pr yeah. we're proving that, clearly. Because <laughs> well, Mike's taking so long, <laughs> we, <laughs> made, we made one earlier, and basically you <laughs> want to make it, <laughs> put it in the fridge so it sets, so it's a bit more pliable. And then we're gonna, just going to toast this sandwich, and then once we've got a light colour, we're going to spread this on top nice and thick, and then grill it under a hot oven. Ooh. Sounds fantastic. So we'll, we'll start toasting this now. Okay. So if you just stick that on. And I made a mess, sorry. Oh, Jesus. I know, it's all you over the place, isn't it? made a total mess, anyway. <laughs> okay, well, speaking of things yellow, I tell you what, it's time to head over to the kitchen with Mark, who took on the challenge to make the ultimate grilled cheese sandwich to celebrate this very special day, and he has come up with the crock bit. Okay, Mark, it's smelling divine. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we're nearly finished now, so we've built our beautiful sandwich here. You can see that it's got a nice salty ham, Gruyere cheese, and we just want to toast it. So get a nice warm pan, Little bit of olive oil in there uh, makes the best toasties. You know, you get a beautiful, um, you know, rich crust from the olive oil rather than just grilling it under the grill. But there's two parts of cooking to this sandwich. First, we're toasting, and then we're going to grill that beautiful, rich rare bit under the grill. So you just keep cooking it. You're just looking for a nice colour on the first part. So keep an eye on it because it does colour quite fast. Having said that, it's taking a while now. <laughs> <laughs> That's TV for you. <laughs> All right, so you can just control that heat. I've just uh, raised the heat slightly, but you've just got to watch it like a hawk. So do you have to watch the thickness of your bread? Well, I mean, it's entirely up to you. It's um, whatever you want. If you want thin bread, you can do, you do it with thin bread. But we are going to do a lot of cooking on here, so it is nice to have a little bit of thickness in the bread, and it makes it more substantial. Mm. All right, so you can see that. So we're just going to go a light colour on that side and then we've got this beautiful rare bit here so this has just been made by Mike and then it's just been chilled in the fridge all right so you want to chill it in the fridge because you're going to warm it back up and it will just give you that extra couple of minutes before it really really melts no lumps in it no it's really good this one actually <laughs> it's done that it's been practicing all right so you just want to sort of spread that evenly over the top yeah a nice thick layer Right, and then we're just going to toast it on the oven. So leave it in the hot pan because that second side is just going to toast while we grill the top. Rightio, it's time, Mark. Bring over that cheese toasty, the ultimate yes. cheese toasty. All right, guys, I hope you're ready for Ooh, this. Oh, look go. at that. That is what you're supposed to do with a cheese toasty, folks. Yeah, look at all that cheese on there. And secret ingredient, a bit of Worcestershire sauce oh, on the top. Okay. Oh, look at that. You need to cut this into about like, 13, 14 pieces. Yeah. <laughs> or maybe just one. Well, just going to put just it. <laughs> okay, thank you, audience. You I'll bring go. some over for you. Thank you, Mark, and oh, everybody else that. who has joined us today. Make sure you join us tomorrow, 9 o'clock, just after the Paul Henry Show. We will see you then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't.